Jamboree season is upon us, and that means it's time to get your OHV out on the trail and explore the parts of Utah you've never seen before. We're out here just outside of beautiful Beaver, Utah for the Beaver UTV Jamboree. It's an event that they host every year out here in Beaver, Utah. Hundreds of miles of trails and it's just beautiful. You gotta come out here. Today we're on the Picture Rock ride. Once we have spent some time in Picture Rock going through the rocks, we run back and go over the top to an overview which looks over the Beaver, town of Beaver and the Mineral Mountains. And from that location, you can see a lot of the rides that people would like to go on. I've never ridden up here in this area, and I live in the desert, and so the sand dunes get pretty hot during the summer. And so I thought would it would be a good idea to come up to the mountains, to find some trails to ride, to get to know the area, so that way when the weather starts to really heat up, I can find some cool places to ride. Finding new places to ride can be a chore sometimes, and if you're new to the sport, the number of trail options in Utah can be overwhelming. The beauty of a jamboree is that you take away the guesswork. The locals not only show you the best places to ride, but they point out the easy to miss details and teach you about the history along the route. I just like the whole ride. It's really fun and dusty. It throws you around a lot, which makes it fun. It's just awesome. You just, you don't see this. And you know, you know when we're on these kind of things that not many people get out here and get up here. And so you just feel really secluded, but you're like this, it's just so beautiful. Something that you don't see every day. Yeah, so we're out here for the Beaver UTV Jamboree. You know, Jorgsons likes to be involved with these kind of events and any kind of jamborees, trail rides, any kind of outdoor adventures out here in Utah, the surrounding states, Jorgensen's likes to promote it and we like to be involved and meet new people and uh, you know just enjoy uh, spending time in outdoors. We've been going up through valleys and across the little rivers. The only thing I wish, I, I just should have brought my fishing pole because there's been trout all over the place. The views have been spectacular. It's actually really chilly up here in the mountains. It's been uh, a lot of fun. We've crossed the river many times. That was pretty fun going through the water like that. Jamborees can last a weekend or an entire week. They let you ride with experienced local guides who can answer just about any questions you have about an area. They also provide great opportunities to meet new people who love the outdoors just as much as you do. This is my first time out on the trail actually at the Beaver Jamboree and I'll definitely be doing it next year, it's a blast. And just, you know, have some snacks, be prepared to stop and just enjoy the view switch off driving. Don't be the one who drives the whole time because if you are, you're missing out. I don't want to drive it. I want to sit in a passenger seat and I want to just sit and let somebody else drive. I offered can my son is like, would you like to drive so I can sit and enjoy the views? Whether you're the passenger or the driver, OHV and ATV jamborees are a great way to meet locals, to make friends, and to find new trails. With this week's Where To, I'm Terry Woods.